Well, joining me now is Gareth Campbell, who's not only a parent, but also a recruiter as well for playing for the Future Academy. So I'm going to ask you your role as a dad, okay. how uh, Lucas got involved. Um, as a dad, we, uh, Lucas came through the academy with Belfast Schools and one of the boys in the recruitment asked for him to come to the trials, went to the trials and made it through. He's 2007, so he's the oldest year group right, okay. at the minute. Um, he's been here four years. Yeah. Since the start, so right from the start, and he has developed immensely. He works well. What he does with his club uh, is built upon, and they have whatever profiles they have with the boys, and they make it up. He's went through two marketing schemes, and he keeps developing. Yeah. Each week, basically. And you can I, see that as a dad. I, I can see it as a dad, as an act coach, and as a recruitment officer. Yeah. So the confidence that he gets from mixing with different boys from different clubs. Well, you, you can't. You can't replace the social side of football yeah. anyway, yeah. and any, any team sport, and he definitely does. And even ones when he's coming up against, he's playing in the Niffle League at the minute, and when he comes up against players, he yeah. knows them automatically because they're yeah. part of the, even the lurking setup, the boys are mixed yeah. between uh -huh. the two, and they, they get good, good games. But his confidence yeah. has grown. The coaching, top level. Yeah. And um, you can see it's time the coach, all the coaches know each, each of them, and then the, the cup tournaments, the Belfast Cup and the Port of Down Cup. Yeah. Again, this puts the failures out there yeah. for everybody. And it gives them a chance to be competitive as well. And though football is, is yeah. about keeping fit, it is about good for mental health and for physical health. Yeah. But this is uh, there's that element of rivalry, which is, is oh, good oh, too. Well, well, the sporting side with the 2007s, we've seen this is their swan song year. So this yeah. is the last year we're going to do this tournament in Holland, and they're going yes. to be. Um, well, this will be the last portfolio for any coach to see them. So yeah. they should be two steps away from first team football. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get a good lot of them yeah. in the, out of the system. And because of this, the, the, we, there's a lot of kids don't have the opportunity that they've got. Yeah. So and this has given them This has given them the opportunity, but the rivalry is still there in training. You can yeah, see it any time. Of course. You mentioned the trips. I mean, that is such an incentive for a young boy like Lucas to yep. be going to. Holland or Real Madrid? Yeah, they're going to Holland, Real Madrid. The oh, the ones younger going to Real Madrid, but the Holland Cup, so it's a prestigious tournament. Yeah. And um, the clubs that they go to, some of them don't even get into that tournament, so yeah. they, they feel very lucky. And the, the best thing about it is because they represent so many different clubs, the boys have, have focused on Thomas have focused then, so it could be that a representative team against yes. other clubs, yeah. which is a, logistically is a it's very amazing. hard thing to do, like, but yeah. it's, it's paying off, so hopefully yeah. it goes through. Yeah. And what age is Lucas now? Lucas is 15, he's 2007. 15. Right, okay, oh, what a chance, you know, to, to basically play in the yeah. best facilities as well. Yeah, yeah, well, when you see the roster of the kids, most of them are, 90% of them are all academy players, Yeah. as it is. So they're stepping up the training. The training's at an elite level. It's very high intensity, and they really, really do benefit from yeah. it. And then they now know that this is the transition into proper football. Yeah, like, career as, path. As a career path, hopefully. Yeah. Just uh, your role then as a recruiter now, yeah. what did that entail, Gareth? Well, I would be going out and I would be 2007s I'm in charge of at the minute, but the, the younger age groups would go out Friday nights, Saturdays, Sundays, yeah. watching the matches. And we're an invite only academy, so we would approach some of the parents, yeah. by the coaches and stuff like that, and say that we think that he's a step above. We'd yeah. like to invite him in, and mm -hmm. you can see the numbers for yourself. We're, yeah, we're, we're absolutely. healthy at the minute. Man. And you're sitting here as a dad and a recruiter. As a dad and a recruiter, yeah. yeah. Back from a match there. Yeah. <laughs> So what if, if, if parents were approached and they didn't know what, too much more about playing for the Future Academy, what would you say to them? How would they go about getting in touch and knowing more about it? Well, we have our head of recruitment, Stephen Savage, he would be in touch. So anybody that I pick, so say I choose your son, I would tell yeah. him, be interested in coming for a training session. Yeah. Come okay. up. I would write up a report, send it to our head of recruitment. He would then contact the parent and then yeah. not sell it, but just tell yeah. them all the things that are sitting out there. Yeah. Um, the scoring thing is a big thing yeah. that, that we are as coaches and as recruitment, we score the kids done professionally, yes, which okay. a lot of academies don't do and yeah. don't have the facility to do. So every they get uh, parents get a report right, on okay. their child, and because it's in vain only, yeah. you have to keep to a certain level. Yes, so it's, that's it's, prestigious. It's, yeah, well, that, that, that's it. And yeah. hopefully the kids then realise that, and just like in uh -huh. England, where they, they would do this of course. constantly, and where yeah. it comes from with Thomas and stuff, that they they know that's the level that they be at and they're always striving to push themselves forward. 
That's great. Thank you very much, Gareth. Thank very you. Welcome. Thank Thanks. You. Okay, nice to meet you.